So I did a test and it turns out that I'm pregnant. Just thought you might like to know. That's the 1998 film Sliding Doors, where Gwyneth Paltrow plays a Brit, even though she calls London home nowadays. We all know that Gwyneth didn't grow up with that accent, <laughs> all right? She for, worked hard for it. Sure. For yeah, for the film, she actually turned to a dialect coach to help her with an authentic accent. And that's right. So tonight, our Debbie Matinopoulos is with one of Hollywood's best coaches who taught Paltrow, and he's opening up about the many stars he's helped truly transform. Why was just floating my name? Staking anyone, vampire or human, is a federal offense. For me? A lot of people from all over the world come here, and to work here, you've got to have a standard American accent. Bob Corp is the voice coach helping actors accentuate the positive. What is the standard American accent? You don't know where they're from. They're not New York, and it's not the South, but it's American. Exhibit A, Aussie native Simon Baker. I'm not the great catch you might think I am. Learning an accent, I think, is a lot like learning a song. You actually physically exercise your mouth in a way to get around words just as you were hitting notes in a song. The star of CBS's hit, The Mentalist, isn't perfect, but passes. He's charming. Mm -hmm. He's charismatic. But his is a little bit slipping and sliding. Exhibit B, True Bloods, Anna Paquin, a Canadian. Really? Canadian accent. You only pick it up every once in a while. With the Canuck and the this and that, and you got out, oh, you're Canadian. Out, out and about. That's not true. Exhibit C, Homeland's Damian Lewis, a Brit. Thank you, sir. He spoke to Brooke when he won an Emmy for playing an American, the clear tone, sheer excitement. How does it feel? Yes! <laughs> ah, I want to go home. <laughs> no, I feel, it feels amazing. It feels amazing. I, you know, what, what's not to love? Alex O'Loughlin and his down under dialect exhibit D. The only person who's gonna lose is Grace. His Aussie roots evident when Brooke visited him on the Hawaii 5 0 set. It feels more like my home, mm -hmm. Australia, than LA ever did. Oh, uh, yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Not a bad place to work. No, it's a good, it's pretty good. I'm very happy. Exhibit E, Gwyneth Paltrow. But I believe there is one who can. I used to kind of always mess around with accents and stuff when I was old. The L.A. native nailed an English accent for Shakespeare in Love and Sliding Doors. And she turned to Corf, who offers tips on CorfVoice.com for her country-strong twang. Am I going to play a song for you? So yes, I am. I sent her a CD of, of the sudden thing that she wanted to do. Cause I'm country strong. Now, Bob's list of clients is really endless, but an interesting note is that he also works with singers, yes. including Mariah Carey. Yeah, Lenny Kravitz also. He's yeah. worked with Dave Grohl of the Foo Fighters. The list goes on and on and on. He's very talented.